all the way out here into this deep, dark forest just to find an egg? Are you serious? Well, you gotta admit, it is, it is a pretty natural find. <laughs> Did just... Wait, what? Okay, I don't understand what qualifies me to be your leader. I mean, I have a bow tie, I'm wearing a suit, I have striped pants for crying out loud, so what qualifies me to be your leader? Well, you see, our previous leader wore that exact same suit. Like, what, was there someone else who was wearing a suit and a bow tie? Yes, although we forgot his name and who he looks like. He did have that exact suit. That begs the question. <laughs> Where did you get that suit? Well, I, I don't know. I just bought it. I just bought it at a thrift store. And I see. And do you know what that suit is made of? Cloth? No. That suit is made from a rare piece of material titled... What was it called again? I don't know, we forgot. Have you? I don't even know. So none of you know what this suit is made of? Well, we don't know, but we recognize that material anywhere. Just accept the fact your throne is waiting. Yeah. This chair isn't even comfy. What type of cushions did you use? It was like that when we got it. Well, if I'm the new king, then am I supposed to have a crown on my head? I mean, head? Well, we don't actually have a crown. Actually, I don't think our king even wore a crown. Well. So, what was your previous king's last mission? Well, he wanted to take over the world. Wait, what? I know it may sound crazy, but it's true. You see, he wanted to take over the world to make a brand new paradise. One where he can rule. Don't you think that's going a little too far? Well, we needed someone to continue the mission. And you were the chosen one. So where should we strike first? Well, I can't believe I have to resort to this. So, uh, Benjry, is this gonna be like your temporary lab until your new one's built? I guess so. Anyways, you have those pictures, right? Yeah, here you go. Thanks. Now let's see if the computer can try to understand this. Hmm. Oh, we found a match. Wait, really? Let me see. Well, would you look at that? 
Yeah, I know, right? So for what it's showing, it's showing that these mysterious creatures are non-identifiable. Really? Yeah, there have been some previous sightings, but... Scientists can't identify which type of aliens these things are. Hmm. Well, maybe one day we'll find out, but I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I'll continue my research and... What, what the heck was that? I don't know, it sounded like an explosion. Oh, that's strange. Wait, do you hear the news? Heard what about the news? No, like, the news station? Uh, oh! Oh! A UFO has just been spotted in the forest shooting a laser. And this is the image on screen. We'll just do like a zoom in and all of that because we don't know what else. And yeah, that was all. Really? You brought me out of my little space for this? I never should have joined the news. Uh, this is one time Foxy saying, well, stay safe out there. Seriously, do we not have a script for this? Because, like, I was just making up stuff as I go along. Whatever. I'm out of here. You guys didn't even bring me my coffee anyways. Wow. Funtime Foxy does not make a great news reporter. I know, right? But, seriously. Don't you think that... Don't you think that's this... Don't you think that's the exact same UFO that took our brother... And you're right, and we did hear a loud explosion outside. So maybe... Oh my goodness. Wait, you don't think... I think so. <laughs> wow, that was a very intense episode. Now, a lot of you might be wondering, di Did it already end? Did you run out of ideas? No. I actually intended to make this episode 8 minutes, or more than that, because I wanted to apply a little bit of context of what's going on. So if you can tell by the ending, and on screen, Dendi and the tree aliens are gonna be the antagonist for this story arc. Notice how I didn't say main antagonist. That's because two other antagonists will be introduced before the main antagonist is introduced. So yeah. This story arc is going to be completely different from the previous story arc we did, which instead of having one villain, it has more than that. So yeah, I wanted to experiment something different with this story arc, like include some more villains because, uh, 
Well, sometimes stories don't get interesting, so you gotta add some villains in them. So, yeah. Dendi and the tree aliens are gonna be the antagonists. Then two other antagonists are gonna be introduced. And then, hopefully, sometime by the end, we'll introduce the main antagonist. But, I can't tell you who they are, but for the main antagonist... Not only they'll be the main antagonist for this story arc, but there could be a chance that they could be the main antagonist for MVS Plush itself. That is insane. So yeah, hope to expect some more in the upcoming episodes, and yeah, it's basically about it. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.